Welcome back, everybody. Ready for another deep dive? Definitely. All right. Today, we're taking you straight into the heart of FairGuard. We've been getting those reports from the FairGuard Observer. And let me tell you, this whole rebellion situation, yeah, it's getting intense. It's really something, isn't it? It really is. And for those of you who have been following along with us, you know that things in FairGuard are rarely black and white. Never. And I think that's what makes it so fascinating. Exactly. But before we go any further, we have to address the Logan situation. Right? Oh, absolutely. Logan's massacre at Siran's Hollow. It's the talk of Fairguard, and for good reason. Yeah, I mean, talk about a controversial figure, right? Yeah. Hailed as this hero one minute, then wiping out a whole village the next. And that's what makes it so difficult. On one hand, you have those who believe it was a necessary evil, a brutal but strategic move in the fight for freedom. But on the other hand, on the other hand, you have to ask, at what cost? Rin? Exactly. And a lot of people are wondering if this is a sign of things to come. Is Logan becoming the very tyrant they're rebelling against? The slippery slope, for sure. And then we have Crag's transformation into, what is it, Regal? Regal. It's almost like something out of a nightmare, isn't it? It really is. This is someone who is so beloved, so trusted. Exactly. Crag was a symbol of hope. He represented the best of Fairguard. And now? And now he's bound to this entity, this endless of horror we don't know much about it but it doesn't exactly sound pleasant not at all and that's what makes it so terrifying it's like this creeping dread that's settled over everything what do you make of it honestly i don't know the reports are sparse and what we do have is often contradictory is crag a prisoner in his own body did he willingly choose this power and if so why so many questions, right? Yeah. And the answers could have massive implications for Fairguard. They could tip the scales. Yeah, exactly. And to add even more fuel to the fire, we have this trial coming up. Oh, right, the trial. A rebel leader on trial for war crimes. I mean, how do you even begin to unpack that? Carefully, I think, because this trial, it's not just about one man's actions. It's about the heart of the rebellion itself. What do you mean? Well, think about it. Can a rebellion, a movement that claims to stand for justice and freedom, condone that kind of brutality even in war? That's a tough question. It is, and it's a question that Fairguard is going to have to answer. Because the outcome of this trial, it's going to have a ripple effect. It could either solidify their cause or shatter it completely. It's decisions like these, these impossible choices, that truly define a society, don't they? I think so, yeah. And speaking of impossible choices, we have to talk about Corinna. Ah, uh, yes. Karenna, the source of it all. For those just joining us, Karenna is the wellspring of magic in Fairguard. It's what they call essence. But recent reports suggest that Karenna is being campered with. It's a worrying thought, isn't it? This power that is so fundamental to their world, to their very existence, and now we're hearing whispers of manipulation, of control. But how? I mean, who could even attempt something like that? And, and more importantly, why? Those are the million Corinne questions, aren't they? The reports we have, they're just fragments, whispers, really. But still, it's enough to raise some serious red flags. Oh, right? absolutely. We're talking about the very essence of magic, the lifeblood of Fairguard. If someone or something is learning how to manipulate Karenna, that could be catastrophic. Imagine a world suddenly devoid of magic. It's almost unfathomable. It's like huh? their entire civilization, their history, it's all built on this foundation of magic, of essence. Yeah. To tamper with that is to tamper with the very fabric of their reality. And that's what makes it so terrifying, isn't it? We have no idea what the ripple effects could be. We're talking about upsetting a balance that's existed for who knows how long. It gives me chills just thinking about it. But okay, let's shift gears for a moment because there's another layer to all of this that we need to discuss this whole steampunk revolution that's happening in Fairguard. Ah, uh, yes. It's like a clash of civilizations, isn't it? Ancient magic versus this burgeoning technology. It's like they're on fast forward through their own industrial revolution. And it seems like they're just as divided about it as we are in our world. More so perhaps, because for Fairguard, this isn't just about progress, it's about identity. Will this technology enhance their magical abilities or will it render them obsolete? Those are some big questions and who knows what the answers will be. But you have to wonder, with everything else going on, is now the right time for this kind of upheaval? I mean, isn't this just adding fuel to an already raging fire? Perhaps. 
But perhaps that's exactly what Fairgard needs a spark of innovation to ignite a new era. That's an interesting way to look at it. But can't you also see the other side of that coin? What about the dangers of advancing too quickly? Look at what we're seeing with Karenna. It's a cautionary tale, isn't it? It certainly gives one pause for thought, doesn't it? It does. And it makes you wonder, are the people in power even considering the potential consequences of their actions? Are they thinking about the long game, or are they just focused on winning the battle in front of them? It's hard to say, but history has a way of revealing those answers, doesn't it? Sometimes in the most unexpected ways. But I think what's happening in Fairgard, it's a microcosm of the challenges we face in our own world, wouldn't you say? The pull between holding on to tradition and embracing progress. The struggle to find that balance between advancement and responsibility. It's that classic struggle between who we are and who we want to be. Exactly. And it's a struggle that's playing out on a grand scale in Fairgard. And as much as I love a good philosophical debate, I think the real question here is, with everything going on, the rebellion, the manipulation of Karenna, this technological revolution, what does it all mean for the future of Fairgard? Uh, now that is the million Karen question, isn't it? That's like trying to predict the weather, right? Yeah. There are just so many variables at play. It really is. But isn't that what makes it so fascinating? This sense of the unknown, the possibility that anything could happen. It's definitely a wild ride, that's for sure. And it makes you realize that even in a world of magic and fantastical creatures, it's the human element, the choices we make, that truly shape destiny. And speaking of choices, I keep coming back to this question of consequences. Are the people making these decisions, are they thinking about the long-term ramifications? Mm -hmm. Or are they just so caught up in the here and now that they're blind to the potential fallout? That's the dilemma, isn't it? When you're fighting for survival, for freedom, it's easy to get tunnel vision, to focus on the immediate threat and lose sight of the bigger picture. It's like that old saying, those who fight monsters. Should see to it that they do not become monsters themselves. Yeah. Yes, it's a cautionary tale for a reason. And it's one that I think the people of Fairgard would do well to remember. Absolutely. Because the choices they make today, those ripples, they could be felt for generations to come. And that's the thing about history, isn't it? It's not just a collection of events. It's a chain reaction. Every action, every decision, it creates a ripple effect that influences the course of events, sometimes in the most unexpected ways. Which makes me think, if we could go back in time and give the people of Sturgard some advice, what would we say? Oh, that's a dangerous game. Interfering with the timeline. We could inadvertently create more problems than we solve. True, true. But hypothetically speaking, what if we could offer them some guidance, some wisdom from those who have witnessed the consequences of unchecked ambition, of technological advancement without responsibility? Well, if I were to offer them anything, it would be this. Progress without foresight is a recipe for disaster. And power, whether it comes from magic or technology, is a double-edged sword. Wise words. I think we could all use that reminder from time to time, don't you think? Absolutely. It's a universal truth. And one that's particularly relevant in a world like Fairguard, where the lines between magic, technology, and human ambition are becoming increasingly blurred. So as we wrap up another deep dive, I can't help but feel this sense of anticipation, of wondering what the future holds for Fairguard. What do you think? Me too. And I think that's the mark of a truly great story, wouldn't you say? When it leaves you with more questions than answers, when it sparks your imagination and makes you think about the world in new and unexpected ways. Absolutely. And on that note, I think it's time for us to return from the world of Fairgard. But let's keep those conversations going. What did you think of this week's deep dive? What are your hopes and fears for the future of Fairgard? Head over to our website, join the forums, share your theories, and let's unravel this mystery together. Whispers of fair guard carry on the breeze. Oh, oh, on the breeze. Where no king reigns, only mysteries. Voices in the dark, they'll never fade. Never fade. The fair guard observer, always in the shade. In the shade. Magic's touch and power claim Through rising smoke, the truth is clear We stand to speak though none can hear Whispers of fair guard carry on the breeze, oh, oh, on the breeze. Where no king reigns, only mysteries Voices
sit in the dark, they'll never fade. The fair god observer, always in the shade. In the shade. Say. Through shadows we watch as night becomes day. Oh, night becomes day. We fade with the dawn, unseen yet we stay. The whispers stay. Hey.